Now, when we talk about alcohol, what is there in a beverage alcohol? So, the alcohol people commonly consume, what it contains? It contains ethyl alcohol or ethanol. And from our knowledge of school days uh, chemistry, you know, we can remember it is C3CH2OH. So, basically, it contains a hydroxyl group. So, the formula is C2H5OH. So basically, alcohol is uh, produced uh, by a fermentation of uh, fruits or grains. And many times, uh, different uh, compositions of uh, alcohol, different preparations of alcohol, they have a characteristic uh, taste or flavor. So this characteristic taste or flavor is basically based on the method of production, which leads to certain congeners. So what are the important congeners which are there uh, in alcohol which gives that characteristic taste or flavor? So some of them includes methanol, then there is butanol, aldehydes, phenol, tannins and then we also have uh, some traces of uh, various metals. So these Congeners, uh, which vary from uh, method of production, they basically give a characteristic uh, taste or flavor to different compositions. Now, when we talk about uh, the epidemiology, let's discuss some important points. The first is alcohol use disorder is in fact amongst the most common psychiatric disorders in the Western world. In fact, when we talk about all these substances, you know, when we discuss them together, it is seen that in the Western world, it is alcohol which is the most common substance. Of course, in India, it is uh, different. It is tobacco. We'll discuss about this. Also, when we talk about uh, the epidemiology, let's discuss what is the prevalence. So, this is the percentage, uh, this prevalence is across various studies. And again, this data is again taken from uh, Kaplan. So, the lifetime prevalence of alcohol use disorder in males, it is 15 plus. So, 15%, uh, you know, and more is, uh, you know, the prevalence, lifetime prevalence of alcohol use disorder in males. While in females, it is 10 plus. So, it is uh, more in males than females. And when we talk about the prevalence of alcohol use disorder in psychiatric patients, it, in fact, it is even higher. So, the lifetime prevalence is 30%. So, these are some of the important uh, prevalence data which you can remember. Now, when we see in which age group it starts or you know what is uh, the age group which has highest drinking frequency and quantity it is seen it usually occurs in late teens to mid 20s they have uh, the highest frequency and the quantity of uh, alcohol intake and when we talk about the peak age of onset of alcohol use disorder it is in the early 20s to age 40. When we see patients having uh, alcohol use disorder, you know, early, so early onset is associated with greater severity. There are uh, more problems such as uh, conduct disorder, concomitant uh, drug difficulties, uh, antisocial behavior. These are more uh, when it occurs at an early age, when the onset is at an early age. But when alcohol onset occurs at a late age, especially when it occurs after 40, it is seen that they have less severe social difficulties. Signs and symptoms of alcohol use disorders are more subtle, but they have a greater likelihood of medical difficulties. So the social difficulties, behavioral difficulties may be seen more with the early onset. While if it occurs at a later age, the medical problems are more seen. So again, we'll talk about, you know, this, uh, you know, especially in the typologies, we'll discuss early onset and uh, late onset. What is the age, uh, you know, categories and we'll talk about important points. Now, when we talk about prevalence, let's discuss prevalence in India. So this data which we are going to discuss, it is uh, from a National Mental Health Survey 2015-16. And this data is for 18 and above. It is seen the prevalence of alcohol use disorder in India is 4.7% uh, and when we see all the substance the highest is for tobacco use disorder which is 20.9 so in India alcohol is the second most common substance and in terms of males and females when we see the prevalence it is more in males than females so it is 9.1 uh, is 2.5 percent so again uh, you can remember some of the important uh, prevalence data related to India as well now, according to WHO, alcohol is the fifth leading risk factor for premature death and disability across the world. 
And when we see in terms of suicide, it, in fact, it is seen that alcohol use and alcohol related disorders, they are associated with around 25% of all the suicide. Again, this is a very important data, especially if you're preparing for uh, any entrance exam. So this data is again very important. So you can note down this data. So 25% of all the suicides, they are associated with alcohol use or alcohol related disorders. So this was about the epidemiology. Now let's talk about the concentration of ethanol in various preparations. So again, different preparations of alcohol may have a different concentration of ethanol uh, by volume. Again, it is very important to know some of, uh, you know, this values because whenever you take a history, it's not just you ask the patient that he's consuming alcohol, which type of alcohol, so that you can get an idea that uh, what is the alcohol by volume present and so that you can calculate uh, the ethanol amount which he is consuming which is important when you will be managing the patient so that you know you can give uh, the corresponding dose of benzodiazepine for treatment of withdrawal. So let's just have a rough idea about some of the important concentration. So it is seen that in beer, the standard beer, the concentration of alcohol by volume is uh, 3 to 4. In a strong beer, it is 8 to 11 percent. In wines, it is 5 to 13, while in fortified wines, it is 14 to 20. In spirits such as whiskey, rum, gin, vodka, brandy, it is around 40 percent, and in Iraq, it is 33. So, these are some of the uh, preparations with their concentration of uh, alcohol by volume. Again, it's important to have an idea about uh, these concentrations. One standard drink or one unit of alcohol, so it corresponds to 10 to 12 gram of ethanol. And just to give you a rough idea, again, you know, you can read all these uh, concentrations separately. Just to give you a rough idea, one standard drink is equal to one peg, that is 30 ml of spirit. So again, when you ask, you know, how much, uh, you know, peg of alcohol is consuming and so that you can, you know, calculate how much standard uh, drink of uh, ethanol is consuming so that you get an idea of how much total ethanol is consumed by the patient. So, these were some of the important preparations and the concentration of alcohol by volume.